So in this video, I'm going to talk about the components of research proposal and detail. I will explain each and every component in depth now. Uh, in my first video, I just talked about that. What is research proposal and how to write a research proposal? And then we explained that we need to find gap or research gap or problem statement from where from literature review. Once we find the problem statement research gap, then we are ready to write our research proposal. Now, what are the components here? I just explained my previous video now into detail now. The components is the background. The background is just you are uh, talking about literature review. You are discussing about the previous research. That this guy have done this, this guy have done this. You just give the references that he used this methodology and he got that result. He got this much efficiency, 20%. He got efficiency, but it was not stable. So something like that, if you are working in the solar cell. So you just need to talk about background, two, three paragraphs, maximum one page or two pages. From there, you identify problem statement. That what was the problem? What previous people done and what are you going to propose? What are you going to do some alternative, some advanced version of the previous research? That is called the background, the previous research. That is literature review, okay? So the next step is the materials and methods. What kind of materials you will need? For example, you will need uh, FTOs, uh, you will need electrolyte, you will need uh, dyes, you will need counter electrode if you are working in solar cell it's it depends so from here you know from previous research they also use those kind of materials so you use from previous research that what material you will require and what methodologies what methods this is the third chapter of your thesis materials and methods xrd xps SEM, tem photoluminescence you will use these methods to solve that problem to achieve your target okay so this is your materials and methods here. And now the study plan. The study plan is also called a gain chart. Let me show you. This is my gain chart for postdoc and I achieve postdoc. So just you see, I just quickly tell you that my first year plan, my second year plan, my third year plan. You see, I just divide into three, three months, three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, you see. So this is my past activity here, you see. This is my milestone that during this, I will do this. But uh, during this period and also another six, three months, I will continue this publication. You see here, very interesting here. And this is all my activities. You see, this is called gain chart. Publication of result. <laughs> I will do it the last year, you see here. So this is all about gain chart. This is my course plan. This is my research plan, work plan. Charted work plan, you see, work plan. You see, this is all about uh, uh, the divisions. Here you see. So this is all about the uh, work plan here. This is also called a gain chart. Now let's go back. And now the study plan is clear. You can also make uh, some other form. And this is one form to make it in Excel. And now the expected results. What are you going to achieve? For example, uh, you want to achieve efficiency of 25 or 25 percent you see and stable uh, uh, solar cell for example let's uh, depend on your field so these are your efficiency to get to obtain blah 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 you see here and finally conclude uh, your result uh, are just you just need to summarize here uh, that what is the summary just briefly explain your uh, all proposal uh, the key points that uh, what are the key things so this is these are the main components of your research proposal and uh, if you have any problem mm, writing a research proposal uh, please do not hesitate to ask me but I do want to ask you one thing that research proposal writing is not that easy job that you once you say that in the past draft i will prepare you need a lot of reading you need a lot of correction proofreading you need to ask your supervisor or your uh, teachers uh, not supervisor teachers or your uh, seniors to improve prepare one draft send him or her 
when he reply you uh, you do the changes send him again again he reply then uh, he will ask for more changes to include this in that send the third fourth five if you are in the eight drop or ten dropped you pre prepare eight drops of your server and i definitely sure that at that stage that will be a good research proposal so it need a lot of reading a lot of hard work so be optimistic keep it up do hard work and thanks for watching